I was Muslim, which uh, for years uh, I learned about Quran. And even in our school, they were teaching us Quran. I always had that belief that there's only one God. There's a, only one God who will judge us at the end when we go to Him. When we die, He will judge us. And that God was presented to me in Islam as a God. He's a righteous God. But He is the one who judged the sin. And I always was scared of Him. Because uh, if I do something wrong, He will punish me. And I was respecting Him with awe, but in the same token, I was afraid of him. So uh, that's why whatever the sin I've done, which I knew I've done a lot of sin, and it, all Muslims know what sin is, but they see as a uh, akbar and asghar, big sins and small sins. And I thought, it's a, okay, it's a big sin I'm doing, so I have to go do a lot of good things. And I was always doing these things with God. It was like a, a bartering with God, doing a business with God, making... Uh, some deals with God and I always had in the back of my mind uh, this God who is in heaven and I'm on earth and I have no relation with him so uh, by reading Quran I learned a lot of about do's and don'ts but I never even had that feeling of not to do the wrong things I couldn't do it I always doing the wrong things and the same time I was always feeling miserable I always had problems with uh, uh, the world and uh, what's happening around me and I always try to keep my peace but my inside always uh, was like a fighter I always worry about future I was I was worry about what's gonna happen tomorrow even though I was making good money I was educated I got my master's degree in construction management I was working in uh, construction industry I was making a lot of money I got married beautiful wife and I had uh, one child at that time uh, our life was just full of uh, anger, especially coming anger from me. The anger was so much, I uh, made my wife to become uh, depressed. It was, she was so depressed, she couldn't even handle the things in her life. So it was going on like that and I wouldn't even pay attention. So I, I tried to spend my time outside the house, uh, become a workaholic and just make a lot of money. I thought by making a lot of money, I can bring peace in my house. Uh, I had a good wife, good child, and educated, but I don't have that peace, and I knew it. But I remember that when, when I was in my country, there were some missionaries coming to our countries, and the, the way they were teaching, it was so peaceful and loving, and in their eyes, it was a glare. It was a light. I was looking for that. I said, I'm going to take my daughter to the people who have that glare and that have light in their eyes. So I looked around and I found the church. When I went in there, I saw that light in the eyes of the people in there. I said, okay, I leave my daughter over there in the Sunday school and let them teach their religion. I thought the Christianity is the religion. I said, okay, let her to learn that religion because it's a, a religion of peace. I said, I always respected Jesus as a prophet. And then I took my daughter and said, okay, let her to receive this religion. And then when I put her in the Sunday school, I went in the sanctuary myself and heard the sermon. It was totally different. Now Muslim, as a Muslim listening to a, a sermon of, about Christ and about living life, giving you peace, giving you joy. And then all of a sudden my eyes went like this. What is going on? I've never heard about this. And they said, Jesus is your savior and he's your God. I said, no, it couldn't happen like that. Jesus is a prophet, is a man. How come they're saying he's God? I couldn't believe it. And I had a terrible time to even receiving that. But the gentleman who was sharing with me was so loving and he had that glare and light in, in his eyes. But with uh, so much love and care, he just shared it with me. He says, Camille, you want to know more about this Jesus? I listened to the man and he started reading Bible to me. And I says, I've never read this book in my life. I thought I knew about Christ, but now I'll find out who really is. He says, Camille, do you believe you're a sinner? I didn't know anything about sin at that time. I didn't think I'm a sinner. But then I uh, understood what real sin means. The man asked me, do you want your sins to be removed? I says, yes, this is the only Jesus Christ can do. God himself can do it, and he has done it on the cross. 
Actually, I went for my daughter to uh, receive the religious uh, teaching of uh, Christianity. Then I found out myself, I need this religion. I thought it's a religion. I said, I'm going to check out this religion, see what is it. Because I thought mine is perfect. Now I want to see what the, the way they were presenting it was so much love and peace and caring. I fell in love with it. Actually, the man who was sharing it with me, uh, he was so nice. I thought he wants to sell something to me. You always, we coming from Middle Eastern, we, if somebody loves you or shows love to you, all of a sudden says, oh, he wants to do something. There's something behind his, uh, he has an agenda for me. But he never had any agenda except showing the love of Christ to me. And I started reading Bible. And when I read Bible, I always had a fight with myself within me. I cannot accept a man as God. If I do that, I'm doing a blasphemy and I'm uh, uh, putting my God away and accepting a man as God. And I cannot do that. So I studied Bible and for a week I started uh, thinking about my sins. And when I thought, oh, I, I get a lot, of, a lot of anger. That anger even turned my wife to be a depressed uh, wife and that, that was because of me. I couldn't understand it at that time. Even that little anger and, and the reaction on that anger was sin. And when I read Bible, the Bible says when you show your anger is exactly like you're killing people. It's like murdering. And I didn't understand that until when for that week I start thinking about my sin. And then I read in the Bible, actually in the book of Romans, it says the wages of sin is death. And death means to be separate from God. And what happened to me when I, when I understood exactly how sinner I am, then I said, God, I don't want to be away from you. If I die right now, I will be totally away from you. And I love you. And I really respect you. Before I was scared of you. Now I know you're a loving father. And I want to have a right relation with you all the way to heaven. I really want to go to heaven. That's all the Muslims wants to go to heaven. That's why they do a lot of good works. They think by the good works they go to heaven. That's what I thought. But Jesus says, oh God, Bible says, God himself, the only one God says, your good works do not bring you to heaven. Because there's a verse in the Bible that says, your good works to me is like a filthy rag. Don't bring it to me. So I says, God, I cannot bring that to you. And I was left with my sins. And that sin would have separated me from my loving father. So I said, God, I don't know what to do with my sin. And then all of a sudden, my eyes lit up, my mind were open, and I says, God, I know I'm a sinner. I understand what sin means. And you, as a God, only one God, came on earth for me. If I was the first one or the last one on earth, he would do it because he loves me. So I knelt down and says, Jesus, come to my heart. Remove my sin. From now on, I give all my sins to you on the cross, and I receive your joy, your peace, and your life tonight. From that night, I was a new person. By the time I came out, I was 10, 10, 30, and uh, I'd start shouting, Hallelujah! I learned that word. I says, Hallelujah! And I was shouting all the way home. Jesus said, Camille, I came for you. I came for your sin. I came for your pain. I came for your... Uh, not having security in your life. I never had security in my life. I had lots of money. I had a lot of things around me, but never had security. But he said, I came for you. I came to remove it. Because we always believed in a sacrifice of lamb. We, as a Muslim, we usually do that. It came from Abraham. And we used to do that. Whenever we commit sin, our parents cut the lamb for us as a sacrifice. Jesus says, I am the lamb. I'm your father, God, who came as a human being. I called myself son of God. Camille understands son of God means God in the flesh and bone. As a human being, I came for you. I care for you so much. I came and that's what he did. I didn't change my religion. God didn't, didn't even bring religion. He bring himself to me. He brings salvation. He, he brought peace for me. Now I can uh, really taste the inner peace in me just not because of religion, because of relation with our Father in heaven, who is one God and is only one God. I know so many people are watching this right now. So many 
Muslims, brothers and sisters that are watching this and they're thinking, what happened to this man? He become kafar, he become a, uh, he's blasphemy. No, I, I would share to them, no, I found our God, our one God, God Wahed, the, the God who loves us so much that he shared his love to us in form of a human being. He shed his blood to, uh, for us. He went on the cross for me and you. My brother and sister who are watching this, I know you are very devout Muslim and you want to do great things for God. You don't want to do something that our God in heaven says, no, I will not accept you when you die. He says, I accept you right now with whatever you've done, whatever sin you've done. I'll take you to my arms and I cleanse you from your sins. That's what I would do with my daughter. When my, my daughter were little and if they go out and they uh, go in mud and come back, I wouldn't say, go out and don't come back. Stay out of the house. I would bring her in, wash her, and keep her in my arms. Our Father in heaven, our only God, one God says, my brother, sister, I love you so much. I came on earth for you and I shed my blood for your sins. And for the muddy things on your clothes, I'm going to wash it with my blood and I hold you in my arms. I'm asking you, brother, sister, if you hear this voice, if you hear the voice of God, give your heart to Him. He's the same God that you always believed, but now you know what He has done for you. Receive Him.